Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today's video is going to focus on this chicken coop. Um, it's a shed that we turned into a chicken coop. We house about 30 chickens in it. So this shed I bought off of Facebook Marketplace for around $200. We ended up having it professionally delivered for about $400. So for the shed, getting it here, we were all in at about $600. We had them put it on these um, blocks to get it higher off the ground, help with um, possibly snakes. And it also gives the girls a nice cool area under there they can take dust baths in. Um, it is higher off the ground, so my husband just put a rock here to help step up into it. Um, the first thing we did um, when we got this shed delivered was we laid down a laminate flooring, like a kitchen flooring. We bought a pre-cut roll at Lowe's and it actually was about the perfect size. Um, that just helps protect the floor and the moisture and from chicken manure and things like that. Um, and my husband framed this door um, in and so this was all framed in and then we have a, I guess you would call it a fine um, hardware cloth that we made sure was extra secure with these large washers. So he built the door with this let me open this up so we can take a good look. These to make it a little bit easier. Um, he bought these that door set thing there. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of room here. We can store some feed and some scratch or whatever we want to. So when we come in here, I don't think there's any. We've got a few chickens in here right now. So um, here we come in. We do the deep bedding method. We probably need to add some litter. Um, we just do the flake. Um, pine shavings, you can pick up at Orsalands or Tractor Supply or your co-op. Um, so coming in here, we do have a window right here for extra ventilation. The outside is covered in hardware cloth. Um, and when it's really hot, we can open the doors that are probably to make you guys too dizzy here. Open these doors and it kind of lets some air flow through the whole coop. My in-laws actually live um, on a piece of property that used to have a commercial chicken house on it. So they've got a lot of these nest boxes laying around. And so um, we were able to get one from that. We don't have this one. This bar is actually usually up. I'm not really sure why it's down right now. Um, Cause we don't have um, those boxes filled for lay. About twice a year, we will come take all of the bedding out and start with all new bedding and um, compost the old bedding. And so we have it on these axles and that just allows us to be able to lift this up um, and we can actually put a hook and hang it off the ceiling and it makes it cleaning it just a little bit easier. Here we just have their feeder hung off of the ceiling. So we just have it hung. We've got some smaller chickens out here. So we have these cinder blocks so that make sure that everyone can easily reach their food and we have a water here in the winter we just put a heat plate under it to warm it up for them and the real MVP of this chicken coop here is that we have an automatic chicken door so I have to look and see the brand of this chicken door so I can link it for you but um, here it is a door store a d o r store.com um so we really like that um it sure makes everything a whole heck of a lot easier that's the gist of our chicken coop if you have any questions about how to turn this shed into um a chicken coop let me know but yeah we started with the vinyl floor i believe the roosts came next then we hung the nest boxes and I believe the last thing we did was uh, frame this door here, which was a little bit harder, but really um, none of it was that hard and it's a really good little chicken coop. I think all in for like the flooring, the lumber, everything for sure less than a thousand dollars, which um, is a really good deal um, these days, especially because we built it when lumber prices were through the roof. So um, that is our shed to coop makeover. 